Work out the sum of all the multiples of 7 between 1 and 1,000. So what you've got to realise is this is actually an arithmetic sequence. So the first multiple of 7 will be obviously be 7 itself. And the last multiple 7 in this range, so the last multiple 7 before 1,000 will be 994. So you can find that with your calculator. So we need to find the sum of an arithmetic sequence with first term 7, common difference 7, and last term 994. So we need to know which number term this one is. So you could actually just divide it by 7, but if we use the formula for finding any term in an arithmetic sequence, which is un is equal to a plus m minus 1 times d, and you have to remember this one for IGCSE, then we know that 994 will be equal to the first term 7 plus m minus 1 times the common difference, which is 7. Why well, it's better probably to do it this way, because sometimes the, um, nearly always perhaps, the first term and the common difference are, diff are different numbers. So you get 994 is equal to 7, 7n minus 7. Obviously the 7s cancel out, and therefore n will be... 994 divided by 7, which is 142, which you could have done. But like I said, uh, it's better to do it this way if the common difference and the first term are not the same. Now we need to find, so 994 is term number 142, so we need to find the sum of the first 142 terms. Now, fortunately, the sum formula is in IGCSE. Uh, on the formula on the front page. So Sn is equal to n over 2, 2a two plus m minus 1 times d. So the sum of 142 will be 142 divided by 2, 2 times 7 plus 142 minus 1 times the common difference of 7. Make sure you substitute the right number in the right place. That gives you 71 times 14 and then 141 142 minus 1, which is 141, times 7, which is 987. And then 71 times 14 plus 987 is going to be 71,071. So this has been a video to show you how to find the sum of all the multiples of 7 between 1 and 1,000. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.